Hello, I'm Callum, and today I'll be talking about Chelsea's 4-2 win against Burnley in the Premier League. Coming into this match, we'd gone six games unbeaten in all competitions, and most recently we'd beaten Ajax 1-0 in the Champions League. This match was notable because it was Christian Pulisic's first start in a while, so a lot of his fans were keen to see the impact that he could have. And here we see kickoff. Mateo Kovacic is another player included in the squad who wasn't in the game against Newcastle. Quick shot there from William into the stands. Very divisive player among Chelsea fans. But here we see Kurt Zuma defending. Uh, but here we can see something that the scoreline doesn't show all that well. Burnley were pressing throughout the whole match. They had 13 shots in total throughout the match. So the 4-2 scoreline wasn't as plain sailing as it seems to be. But here we see Dwight McNeil running down the wing. A very good player. Very good player indeed. But a good save from Kepa there. A player I felt has been unfairly scapegoated recently. But his strong performance against Liverpool in the FA Cup should clear that up. But here we see the first goal. Pulisic capitalising on the mistake before slamming the ball into the side of the net. And you can see how much that first goal means to him just through a celebration. And, well, I was celebrating the same in my lounge. Knee slides all over the place. Because I'm a big fan of Christian Pulisic. Um, I think we've got a really special player on the cards. And, well, to grab a Premier League hat-trick at Turf Moor on your first sort of chance in ages is, well, not everyone can do that. But here we see another example of Burnley pressing from set pieces, nearly coming off there, just got under the ball instead of over it, and another fantastic save from Kepa there, but the ball goes out of play. So far a strong performance from the defence, uh, wouldn't think that we'd concede two goals at the end of the match, but that did happen, but here we see our second goal, Christian Pulisic slamming the ball onto the near side this time. Another emphatic celebration. A very, very good player to grab a brace on your first chance in a while. But yeah, and that's what I like to see. Team spirit of the squad. Often you worry about in big clubs, sort of big name and big wage players not gelling, but not here. But here we see the players going in after the end of the first half, and well, now we see them coming back out. But yeah, another. Quick play from William there. As I mentioned before, very sort of... Uh, well, Chelsea fans can't seem to decide whether they like him or dislike him. I'm not a fan of William. I can't say I'll miss him when he's gone. But here we see a corner from Mount. Hit the first man, which happens a lot at Chelsea. We're used to it. But then he wins the ball back, crosses it in for Pulisic to complete his perfect hat-trick with a header. Lovely celebration running straight towards the fans. And once again, you can just see how passionate he is through the expressions on his face. And we can see the team spirit once again. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant hat-trick. Brilliant player. What a player we've got on our cards. One for the future, that's for sure. And there we see the fans all celebrating. Brave of them to go up to Burnley, mind. Very brave indeed. And there we see Frank Lampard, a decisive figure at Chelsea at the moment with some fans. But here we see our fourth goal. Nice trickery from William before a tidy finish. You see, this is this is the problem with William. I think he's far, far too inconsistent. If he was doing that every week, there'd be no complaints. And I'm sure Chelsea would be offering that three-year contract he was looking for. But uh, who knows, maybe this will be his last season in blue. Or white, in this case. We're still celebrating with the fans. No egos in this team. And oh, I don't really know what that is there. But I like Jorginho, so I'll forgive him for that. Another player who I feel is uh, unfairly scapegoated when things seem to go wrong, much like Kepa. Speaking of Kepa, nice catch from him there. You know, playing it safe. Make sure nothing gets past. 
Arsenal from the back, but here we see a player who seems to get unanimous praise, and rightly so. Reese James, what a player. Very, very good right back. And in my opinion, the best youth we have at this club uh, at the moment. I think Billy Gilmore could do with a loan. But there we see Tammy Abraham missing a header, but here's a man who never seems to miss headers, Mr. Olivier Giroud. An incredible player when used, I think, this season. The game against uh, Spurs comes to mind. And here we see Hudson Odoi, who coincidentally grabbed his first Premier League goal against Burnley at the bridge later in the season. But uh, we didn't stop pressing. Fair play to the team. But that was never really testing Nick Pope there. Well over the bar. Another incidence of Hudson Odoi pressing. Such a shame about his uh, about his injury last season. I think we could have had a real special player if it wasn't for that. But who knows? Only time will tell. But here we see a downside. Uh, Dwight McNeil's goal. This is actually Burnley's second goal, which is a shame because it halves our result. But it was still a great game. We stayed in the top four, only behind Leicester on goal difference after their brilliant 9-0 win. And there we see Mateo Kovacic, my favourite player. And the one who I think deserves player of the season. But what a very good game. Remember to like and subscribe to the Football Hourly.